right guys, today we're going to make some fish tacos. Went on a fishing trip, I got some fillets, and I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm just using what I have. I'm kind of thin on supplies around here. And there's a million combinations to fish tacos. So I'm kind of doing an Asian fusion kind of thing. But it's a taco. Okay? Here's the deal. I don't know what the hell this says, but my favorite Asian mart sells it. And if you look, you know the shrimp, you know when you go in there and you get the uh, sweet sour pork, sweet sour chicken, I got that good batter. Well, I'm going to do the fish in this. And I'm going to take those fillets and I'm going to cut them like long strips best I can so that they fit in my taco shells. Normally I use a soft tortilla, but like I said, I'm kind of thin. The other thing is, what are you going to put on it? You know, you're going to put cocktail sauce on it, you're going to put tartar sauce on it, you're just going to slather some mayonnaise on it. No, no, not me. I'm going to make some pico, which is basically jalapeno, onion, tomato, with some salt and lime, and throw a little bit of cilantro in there. And then, for the sauce, because, you know, the pico is just going to add a little heat, the sauce, I'm making verde sauce, that green, you know, salsa verde, the green salsa verde. So you got to get some tomatillos. I got that. These things come with that. The leaves still on them. They're not a green tomato. I guess they're they're a tomatillo. So get you a handful of those. Get you a clove of garlic or two. Get you a little bit of onion. You can use the green onion. Get you some cilantro. And get you a couple of jalapenos. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil the jalapenos and the tomatillos until basically these things puff up, they get an ugly green color. Throw it in a blender, and we're gonna hit it with, you know, you gotta add a little fajita seasoning to it, and uh, squeeze some lime in there, and just mix it all up, and that's your salsa verde sauce. I do have a video on that, you can go search for it, but just type in salsa verde, and uh, somebody, definitely on YouTube, will make you an expert just like me. So, let's get to boiling and cooking. And while the tomatillos are starting to boil, I'm going to go ahead and throw my stuff in my blender. Here's a garlic. Here's a little bit of cilantro. I'm saving some of this for the salsa, of course. We're going to squeeze, squeeze this lime off in there. I need to buy one of those lime squeezers. Yeah. My Kung Fu grip isn't what it used to be. And definitely some fajita seasoning. That's going to kick it up a little bit. It's got the salt in it it needs. And if you want this real limey, you could actually use some of the zest off of the off of the lime. I like scraping out the insides a little bit, get some of that membrane in there because I like limey. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, we're good. Now while the tomatillos are starting to boil, right here. This is my Pico Maker. Amazon, 12 bucks. I didn't pay that though. I went to one of these shows and the guy was like, it slices, it dices, and I fell right into that. But uh, this thing is invaluable, you know. It's kind of flimsy, so you got to be careful. Don't overload it, but it will make some kick butt. Pico, just the right chop and everything else, and I guess you can make egg salad in it and all that type of good stuff. So, let's get some tomatoes in there and, and some onions and... Do it to it. Garlic. I'm going to put my lime in there so I don't forget it. Sometimes I do that. And that's just not cool. got to have lime. Especially in your beer. It's like mandatory. Perfect. Cilantro. I really like cilantro so I add a lot. Some people hate it. Don't put it in if you hate it. Don't be hating. I could leave these whole, put them in there, but I found it's just a little bit easier. And I'm not taking the seeds out. I need some kick. I'm going to put a little onion in there. Pick that up. If you got them a lot to make, make two batches. Because like I said, it's easy to overload this bad boy. And you don't want a salsa mix. You want it to look like pico. Okay, I'm going to put three tomatoes in there. 
Uh-oh, I'm boiling. Probably boiling over. Now I may need one more tomato, but I'll come back and slice it and dice it if I have to. Oh, never forget, need the fajita. Alright, don't stick your thumb down in there because you won't have a thumb. <laughs> Damn it, it works good. Check that out. Perfect pico. You seeing that? And look, if you don't believe me, oops, see the bottom? Makes it perfect every time. See, look at that. It's perfect. Perfect pico. Let's see what it's going to taste like. It's perfect. The only complaint I got, Walmart jalapenos have no kick. There's absolutely nothing there. There's nothing there. That's just sad. That's just plain sad. But I got a cure for it. Now the cure is either zombie dust or Texas volcano. Yeah, that's going to kick it up a bit. I think I'm going to go with the volcano. Do the light dust. You know what? I want people to feel my pain. So a little zombies going in there too. I'm just going to mix this up. And we're going to give another taste test. I love Pico. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. There it is. It's got that background heat. Perfect. I mean perfect, guys. That's on point. Woo! And don't worry, guys. I've been washing my spoon between... between sticking it in the food. It's called creative editing. A lot of people just think, oh man, nasty, you're, you're grabbing that chicken and then you're grabbing this and you grab, no. Guys, it's edited. It's fake news. It's camera angles. Now guys, like I told you with the tomatillos, that's what you're looking for. Ow! Yeah, I'm always burning myself. We got the onion in there, we got everything else in there. Now, real important, since those are Walmart jalapenos and they're useless, I gotta address the situation. Texas volcano, because I need I need a little heat, man. And that just gives it an this is nice. Ooh, don't open that side. Not on zombie. And we're gonna add a little zombie. Yeah, you can mix and match and everything else, man. I'm telling you. I'd already put in this. So, hopefully we won't blow salsa verde all over the house with this blender. Let's see. Beat. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? This thing's kind of raggedy, man. You push the buttons, nothing happens. It smells good. And it's hot. I'm hoping you can see this. Time for the taste test. Salsa Verde. Look how pretty that is. Gotta do my happy dance. Gotta do my happy dance. And then that heat's coming on a little bit extra. It's not overly hot. I could add some more zombie and volcano. But it's just got that nice mild birdie sauce. It's not too heavy. I'm just going to roll like that, guys. You could add different peppers, too, like serranos. Then you'll get your heat up and, you know, you'll be a man. So let's get to frying. Okay, guys. This is important. If you're frying... Don't be using vegetable oil. Don't be using Crisco. You want shortening with meat byproducts. See that? 
Prepare for meat fats. I'm telling you, anything you fry in this, you're the king. But I'm the deep fried king, so you just got to deal with it. Seriously, don't screw around. Get that stuff. Walmart. It's called Bake Right or whatever that is. That's great value. There's another brand out there. I don't really remember what it is. But that's what you need. Look for meat byproducts. And they'll say shortening. Not vegetable shortening. Shortening. I wouldn't make a big deal out of it. Unless it was true. It's just like, you know, I make a big deal out of chicken breast. Because that's true too. They taste like hell. So let's get some, uh, I'm using my fry daddy tonight. I'm going to cheat. Because I'm lazy. But we're going to use the fry daddy. And I'm uh, going to cut up this meat and get this batter mixed. Let's do it. I'm actually reading the directions for this stuff so that it has the right consistency. I've never used it, so I hope it's good. It's all in milliliters, which is a pain. I had to figure that out. I had to do some higher math. That's not cool. That looks awful soupy, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, normally you just fry your fish the way you like them, you know. Bunch of cayenne, black pepper, salt, some flour, egg, all that crap. Look at that. That looks like pancake batter. All right, we're going to cut some of these fish so they fit in the taco. I don't want them too long, but I don't want them too short either, so. Kind of almost into a nugget. Hopefully they'll stay together. Putting them in this batter. I sure hope these come out good. Some of these I'm just going to leave big. Just sell regular fried fish so I can just eat them for breakfast. They're in there deep frying. You can see them over here. When they start floating, got a nice golden color, I'll pull them out. I'm setting you up a better camera angle. Wait till you see these things. Man, they look awesome. They're not done yet, but look at that. You see it? That's almost good Long John Silvers. But they don't use shortening, and that's their problem. Oh, these things are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Thing of beauty here. And it's making all those little crunchies too. As the batter, you know, boils off, it makes those little crunchies. Let's get some get the rest of this in there. I'm gonna have to do some squid. I'm gonna man, I'm gonna do so much stuff with this this batter. You just don't know. I can't make a video every time. By the way, this is white bass. Not that you care. To me, all fish taste the same. I really, it don't matter. It's just fish. Guys, look at that. Is that thing pretty or not? It's too hot to break open right now, but I will. Look at that. Deep fried king. I can't wait for a taste test, so I'm risking burning my mouth. great. It's fantastic. It's fried fish. It's got that cool batter on it. Ah. It's really good. I can already see. I can already taste these tacos. This is going to be really good. You ever get real excited about cooking? <laughs> you know, if you don't want to watch your temperatures and all that type of thing for frying, these little uh, fried daddies, can't go wrong. I don't think this is the biggest one they make, but I might have to invest again. I haven't used this thing in, in years, but man, it sure is handy. I like these things. It does take a little long, you know, because I got a big batch. That's the only problem. And I'm going to pour that batter all in that grease and get all those crunchies. My wife loves those crunchies, believe me. If I can give her like a box of them, 
I'd be in there. Man of the century. Now guys, I always go crazy when I fry. I mean, I try to fry everything. Sugar snap peas. Since I got a bunch of batter left, I'm going to deep fry them. You know, if you ever deep fried string beans or asparagus or cut a bell pepper, you know, it's like onion rings and stuff. You know, while you got the oil going, don't be messing around. You know, you got to have your vegetables too, right? But they're really good. So we're going to give this a shot too. I've never done, I just eat these things like potato chips just as a snack. That's why I got this Adonis body of mine. You know, I'm always eating healthy. Now the fish is legit. Look at that. I already broke one open, tasted it. it. They're just, it's perfect. I think this is it, yeah. Just perfectly fried. And that batter's just off the chain. It's just like at the restaurant. And I'll be definitely going back to the little Asian Mart and loading up. I actually prefer this kind of batter instead of the uh, normal uh, cornmeal and flour mixture. So they're getting, look, watch, check this out. <laughs> Can you see that? I don't want you, see how fat they got? Oh, damn, I'm tripping that right on my phone. See that? I got a deep fried phone now. Oh, great. Grease on a phone. Yeah. yeah I think these are done. Check these out. They're really pretty. Sort of. That's going to be definitely something different. Okay, we are almost at fish taco time. I am going to... These crunchies are mandatory. Okay, the crunchies are done. Get some of these out of there. See that, guys? Crunchies! Crunchies! Okay, guys. Obviously, these fish fillets came out perfect. Look at that. And these little things came out pretty good, too. Mm. If I dip that in some ranch, oh, that'd be great. They're still good, but they need a little something. We're going to make some fish tacos. Basically, i got these taco shells. I'm going to put fish in, put some pico in there. I did cut up a little bit of lettuce, since those look like Taco Bell tacos. Got to have some lettuce in there. As a filler, let me cut this fish. Look at this. And like I said, it's white bass. So we're going to lay those down in there. So I just put the fish in there. I hope you guys can see this. I'm having a hard time seeing myself. We got the pico. We'll be adding some pico on that. I'll put some of this lettuce in there for crunch. But it doesn't matter what order. I'm just doing what I'm doing. <coughs> and the salsa verde. One of my taco shells broke, so perfect dipping for the salsa verde. Some nachos, fish nachos. Can't go wrong there. I don't know if you can see this very well, but that is a fish taco with crunchy taco shells. So let's give it a shot. I'm already kind of munching. I'm just screwing around tonight, so here we go. Fish taco. Mm-hmm. Those are tasty, tasty, tasty. The only thing you could probably kick it up is a little avocado. <clears throat> I've had a little avocado, maybe a little more heat. Just a little bit more heat, but I got like I said, I got the cure for the heat. But these are on point, they're real tasty. And um uh, man, give it a shot. But definitely get some of that batter from the, the Asian Mart or whatever. Because, I mean, are you seeing that? That, my friend, is pure gold. Mmm. That's my fish taco, guys. Give it a shot. Get you some fish, some fish fillets, and get after it. Uh... Anyway, if you're on Facebook, type in the Hog Zone, like my page, you know, subscribe, hit uh, like, hit dislike, leave me a stupid comment. I don't care. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching, and uh, get get to frying. Can't beat it. Just don't do it outside in the middle of the day at noon, because, well, not in Texas anyway, because you, you will just explode. 
with the heat. So, anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. That's part of my cardio diet right there, and it's awesome.